white cells help us fight infection. And in particular, the cells that we're looking at are the neutrophils. Chemotherapy can lower your neutrophil counts in particular, and that can put you at increased risk of bacterial infection. Not so much viral infections, like a cold that your grandchild has or somebody uh, at school might have, but rather bacteria that are already in your body, in particular in your mouth and in your bowels. These are healthy bacteria unless they get into your bloodstream and you don't have the neutrophils to keep them at bay. If your neutrophils are fine, we proceed with chemotherapy, but if they're on the low side, rather than lowering them further and making you at even greater risk of infection, we will often hold your chemotherapy. What I mean by that is we'll delay it a week, we'll wait until those neutrophils come back up, and then we can give you chemotherapy. Now I know you may have gone to get treatment and been told, oh, your counts aren't good enough, we can't treat you today. And that can be very discouraging. It actually is not a bad thing. If your counts are low, it means your body is seeing really robust doses of chemotherapy and that's good for you because it decreases the liveliness of the chemotherapy. It means your body is letting that chemotherapy bathe those nasty cancer cells a little bit more than if your counts don't go down at all.